Hey y'all, welcome, welcome to my video. Today I'm doing a collaboration with a few of these lovely hosts today. And this is Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Please check out her channel. This is Charlene with Crafty Art Shack. You'll have to go check out her channel as well. And OK at Home DIY. This is Zaina, so you'll have to check out hers. And today I'm doing three DIY IYs that I created from other crafters. Um, so today I picked Kathy Jo um, DIYs and she did a really cute um, silly um, rabbit Easter is for Jesus sign. So I'm going to do a sign as well kind of like hers but I'm going to do it in my own way. And I did use my Cricut here for this. And I just made my own little words myself on Cricut Des Design Space. And today I'm using a lot of Dollar Tree products. So I'm using this um, like faux vinyl from the Dollar Tree. And I found a bunny. She, in her video, I think she just had a snowman and then she had to make some ears. So I love that, you know, she used what she had. I didn't even have a snowman, so here I am. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and peel this off now. I had a hard time kind of seeing it. I don't know if it was because it was the sun or whatever was shining. I, I'm not sure, but I had to get my light to line this up pretty straight. And that's it for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my X-Acto knife here to cut this out. You just want to go as close as you can to the edge all the way around the entire bunny. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop off the hanger to this and I decided to use the back of it. And I'm going to mix some Waverly Antique Wax and the black in the Folk Art Chalk Paint. And I just do... I do more of the Waverly Wax than I do the the black. When you do this, it kind of makes like a, um, a darker walnut kind of like color, I guess. It, it really looks black right here, but it, it doesn't dry black. I promise. <laughs> um, after I go ahead and paint this up, I do end up painting it white. I don't show you that over top kind of like a rustic feel. And then we're gonna go ahead and just glue everything down here. Now, she did not add any color to hers. She just did a few black stripes with some paint and some tape with hers, but I decided I had all this ribbon and purple is my favorite color. So I decided to add that. Now you guys, as I'm watching this, I totally spaced. I scooted this rabbit up because I was going to add some Spanish moss at the bottom. And I totally forgot to do that. So I think I am going to go back and add that in later. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this. Because I wanted to make it look like it was sitting in like a little nest. So I got this from the Dollar Tree right here. And I'm going to glue this around the rabbit's neck. And then this pom-pom also came from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They come out with a lot of crafting stuff right now. So you'll have to head there and check that out. Then this is also from the Dollar Tree. It's just off of that little um, package right there to the left where my hand is. Next, we're going to go ahead and put... Now, I had to, like turn my camera all kinds of weird ways to do this one because it was pretty large so sorry it's all wonky and and whatnot um all of these come from the dollar tree a couple of them come from hobby lobby joann's you know you you name it it, it come from one of those craft stores michael's um it, it could come from most of them come from the dollar tree though especially the purple ones and then the black ones, I think, came from Hobby Lobby. And I just glue a few of those on. And then, you guys, I have this little fabric piece that I have left over um, from other DIYs that I've done. I'm going to use that for a hanger. And I'll show you the rest at the final reveal. So, next, I am doing the Crafty Cove. 
Um, I picked out hers and um, her name is Missy. If you guys want to um, go check out her channel, I'll have everybody's channels linked down in the description box as well. So I'm using that same paint from before. I just added a tiny bit of water just to kind of, because it was kind of, you know, left over from the night before. <laughs> so here I go ahead and use some toothpicks. These are like weird looking toothpicks. I'm not sure where they came from. I don't, I've had them like in a wood pile for a long time. Now these I had to cut off into like little tag looking sections and I use my paper cutter. If you guys are new to my channel, I use a paper cutter to cut a lot of the wood stuff from the Dollar Tree. Here I am going to go ahead and paint this up as well. And you guys, I don't show you painting the white, but I did go ahead and paint a little bit of white on all those pieces as well and the white is just the folk art chalk paint now here i am going to go ahead and use some wood glue and some hot glue and we're going to put one cross here and one cross on the top now she did hers a little different she used a canvas in her video i just going to use what i had i had this little board from the Dollar Tree when they first came out with the plus section I had bought one so I'm going to go ahead and use it I do have a lot of canvases as well and I have like black ones and stuff but I don't really feel like ripping them all apart like she did <laughs> so in hers she also put a bunch of flowers at the bottom of hers I decided not to use those flowers even though I do have those flowers but I decided not to use them. I wanted to keep mine more farmhouse feel, more, um, I want this to go with the next DIY I'm going to do. So I wanted to kind of keep this simple. So I'm just going to put a little bit of moss at the bottom of mine, like so here. And you just have to try to stand it up. However, I'm just trying to stand it up so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Put a bunch of hot glue, just grab a big thick section and just do one little section at a time. I use my little finger protector to kind of just press it on down into the hot glue and make sure it squishes all down in there. And then I did trim it up just a tad bit. I didn't show you that on camera. And then I decided to use these little white rocks that come from the Dollar Tree. There's like white ones and like all different colors. I'm going to use the white white ones that come in this little pack and I just hot glue those suckers right to the bottom you guys and then I do end up making a um, bow with a gingham with the gingham ribbon I got that ribbon from Hobby Lobby right here and I will show you guys more of this in the final reveal so you guys don't have to watch me make a bow I hope you guys are enjoying my video today. Don't forget to watch the playlist, you guys. These are some awesome crafters. Make sure you go check out the playlist and everybody. So this is Caroline. I'm going to go ahead and do hers. Um, this, you if you saw my haul video, you saw me haul this. I found this for 50 cents. It, it looks like it was a back to like another frame or something. And it was like the back to it. So I bought it. I was like, oh, I'll end up doing something with that. Who knows? Well, here's the day. I'm using that same stain over and over again here. I'm going to stain this entire piece, front and back. And I don't think I show you painting it white, but I do go over it and paint it white. I do paint some dry brushing on the rocks. I don't use these beads at all in this DIY, but I wanted to go ahead and use up the rest of that paint. So I painted a bunch of beads as well. Um, so don't mind that part, you guys, sorry. <laughs> but here it is all painted. It's ready to go. Now I got my rocks all in a circle like I want them. She did hers way different than I'm doing mine, like way different. Um, I kind of went a little different with mine, which I, I love mine and I love hers just as much. 
They are so awesome, you guys. You'll have to go check out her video. And we are doing a recreation video today, so you'll have to check out the playlist. I picked out three people. Um, there's other, my other friends also picked out people that they like to recreate things and things that they like to make. So please check out the playlist, guys. Here I'm just gluing these rocks down and then I glued in between where all the holes were. I didn't like go crazy and fill them up. So I'm gluing the glue side that I glued that you seed the first time so you don't have to see that ugly mess. And then also I go in between the holes a little bit here just so this all stays in, intact and informed as one piece. Okay, that's it. And then I let it, let it dry for a little while. And then I went and got some spackle. And I am filling in all the holes and the sides and whatnot. And I let that dry overnight. This is what it looks like. This is all dry. I sanded it all down. Um, this is what it looks like in the back here. And I have a few different paintbrushes now. I have... A few different paints here that I'm going to be using. This is um, a truffle paint by Waverly that I'm using right now. And I just go in and just go all the way around the entire rocks. And then I'm going to use the black on the top here. And I'm going to go all the way around, even on the sides. I kind of like blended the two together here. As you can see, just want to dab it on. Um... Now, you're supposed to let this dry for a long time. I did not. I just went ahead and painted it. I'd only let it dry for a little bit and then painted it. You should probably let it dry for a while, but I didn't have time for that. But right now, I'm using what's called Light Mocha. And I show you all these paints right now. So, I use Burnt Umber. And I also used a little bit of that wax mixed in with the burnt umber. But I, here's the light mocha by Apple Barrel. Okay. Right. Yep, those two. And then I don't use the gray one at all. I thought I might use that one, but I don't. So then I use the truffle and I also use the black. Okay, so I use the black on top there. Um, and then I'm going to go back over top of the black, not all the way. Don't go crazy right now because we want to have a hole, um, like inside where the tomb is. So we need a hole there. So I just paint the rocks that are around it first, all around, guys, like so. And then we're going to do like a circular ovalist, or ovalist, oval shape, circle, like a circle oval here, like so, okay? And then we want to dry this up so we can move on. Now I'm using the burnt umber and the wax and the truffle, just dabbing it on here and there. And I don't show you all of me doing every single color again. And that's all I do, dry it up. I stand it up, you know, I want to make sure it looks good. It's looking pretty good. So next I want to go ahead and use some moss. But first I'm going to use some Spanish moss just to kind of fill in all around, around it first. Just to fill in all the cracks and spaces so I don't have to use up a lot of moss. We're just going to go ahead and twist a piece around like this, around this piece. And I just use hot glue, you guys, just like that. A little piece here, wrap it around. Another little piece here. Trim them all up. Sorry I go off frame a little bit here. It's kind of hard to keep this in, in frame and kind of show you what I'm doing here at the same exact time. Um, if you guys are new here, my name is Tasha. Welcome to my video. Today I joined a collaboration. If 
you're just popping into this video um, with some lovely ladies. I have their playlist, um, the playlist down in the description box. I have everybody's channel link down below. You'll have to go check everybody out. Tell them I sent you. Here we're just trimming all around. I went ahead and just speeded that up a little bit and now I'm just going to show you how we just trim this down a bit all around. You don't want it all wild and messy. This is basically a base for my moss to stick onto, I guess. If that makes any sense. The, uh, the green moss. Because this is the like dead looking Spanish moss. We're going to put the green moss over top of it a little bit. Okay. Like this and I wanted to make this look like it was a mountain also like behind it so we're gonna do like this with the hot glue we're just gonna put a bunch on the side and don't worry about how messy it is right now we'll trim all that up okay like this um, she did not do this at all on her she did not add two rocks she only added one and then she painted um, on hers so you'll have to go see how she did hers um, she also wrote on hers I'm not writing on mine today you guys I'm not very good at writing out stuff like that I, I probably could have used my Cricut but I didn't end up doing that so here now it's all trimmed up I didn't show you me trimming this up but it's just the same as the other way okay and then we'll, we're just going to go all the way around this uh, this little um, circle here that we have created. And sorry, I'm going off frame a little bit there. So here I'm just using these toothpicks that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I hot glued them together and broke some apart and glued them together and kind of cut them to where they're pointed at both ends. And then I'm using, um, what color am I dipping into here? The Burnt Umber. And then I'm going back over top of it with that light um, mocha color from Apple Barrel to kind of make it look like wood. And I know you can't really see it in the video, but it does kind of look like wood. So I decided that I was going to put these on mine. Like I said, she did a um he is risen verse matthew 28 6 on hers i just did these and then i added some little rocks what do you guys think so here is the final reveal you guys thank you for watching my video today i appreciate you this was kathy joe's i added some color to mine i hope you guys love it hers was so adorable too now here is Missy's. This one's mine. What do you guys think? And this is the one that Caroline made. I just love it. Mine's a little different, of course. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. Let us know um, if you enjoyed the playlist. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss a, th a thing from me. And thank you to the host. Bye.